Hey, what's up everyone? Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Traveling Tiv, and today I want to talk to you about what's in my camera bag. So, this is my old bag. I've had this bag for about 10 years. Uh, it's been really good to me. It's the Low Pro, I think the 350 AW, meaning all weather. Um, very, very good support. Shoulder straps, uh, very durable. I can throw this bag around anywhere. It's been really good to me. <clears throat> you guys can see in there. It's just uh, some of my gear that I carry around me when I travel. And uh, let's talk about, first off, my camera. <clears throat> the camera that I use is the Canon 5D Mark IV. Um, I have a 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8 telezoom lens on it. Um, I also have on this, I have a protected, I guess you could say it's a grip, um, but it's a skin uh, cover that goes around the actual body to protect it. Um, I bought this when I was in Thailand and it's, it fits it to a T. Every display button, everything is displayed on there perfectly as far as the buttons. Um, they work really well and it protects my uh, camera from bangs and scratches and all that stuff. So that's my uh, camera setup. This lens right here is my 85mm 1.2 aperture. This thing is a beast. A little dirty. I don't use this uh, lens too often. Um, when I was shooting weddings for about 10 years, uh, this is my go-to lens for portrait and uh, you know, family shots. So this is what I would use. Very, very good lens in low light. Uh, this is like, you want some dreamy footage? To me, this is what, what you need. Um, you can use this like for a lot of things, but I mainly use this for like studio portrait or even outdoor portrait photography. So really, really good lens. All right, now I have a 24 to 70 millimeter uh, 2.8, but I, <laughs> last year I dropped it. Actually, I knocked it off the table. I just, I don't even wanna talk about it. It made me sick. So that lens is pretty much demolished. Hopefully I can get it repaired, but the, the glass is not broke. It's the housing that's around it. It's all, it's just, it's a mess. So let's uh, talk about something else before that depresses me. Um, microphone, I got a Movo, I think this is the VRX10. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. VXR10, see I was wrong. Okay, so I had it backwards. Um, I haven't used this too much. Uh, I bought this because it was recommended to me to get as far as an external microphone. Um, it's about $40 on, on Amazon right now. So I carry that with me. Um, this is a carrying case for my lens. Uh, let's see here. Oh, one of my most important tools that I have is a, uh, this is my, I guess you want to call it the focus screen or the sensor cleaner. Uh, when you're out in the field and you, you don't want to blow in it with your mouth or use anything to stick in there to clean it, it's the worst thing you could do. This is the brushless, you don't have to touch it, just blow it out, hold it up, side down, and blow up, and whatever it should, it should come out. Nine times out of ten, I can get it out with this. So very, very handy to have. Um, this is great to have as well. This is my Pelican. Uh, CF card and micro SD card holder. Um, it's airtight, water sealed. Uh, very, very good. I bought this a long time ago and it seems like it's everybody's buying one of these now. So it's becoming a little bit popular. So that's, re that's really good. So there's all my cards. So that's very handy. You can attach a lanyard to it. Um, so that's really cool. Another thing that I just recently purchased was a or I should say an external hard drive. Um, this is, I'm gonna get, definitely get more of these. Um, I have some other external hard drives and let me show you which ones those are. So here are my external hard drives that I used to carry around with me. These are kind of old and outdated, but they've been really, really reliable. Um, 
this is only a 500 gig drive and I think this one is uh, one terabyte. The only problem with these, these are internal moving parts. So it's not a solid state drive. Um, they, I bang these around a lot, but thankfully they haven't broke or anything. So I use these as backup, as a double backup, I should say. Um, but the problem with these two are they're, they're just too heavy. Um, when you carry a lot of weight around, especially your gear, the last thing you want to do is pull out a big old, you know, tank of a external hard drive, which these aren't too bad, but I've had some bigger ones before. And so I'm converted everything over to this little bitty thing. This is no bigger than a credit card. It's light. It's maybe, maybe one or two ounces, if that. So really, really good to have. Comes in a hard shell case. And I got this on Amazon. I don't know how much it was, uh, but I'll put that down below as well. I carry some extra, uh, extra uh, thumb drives, I should say. Um, these are really handy. So this is a 128 gig thumb drive. So when you need something that you run out of memory, this is always good to carry around with you. I have some external, excuse me, some Velcro straps that I carry with me and then the wires that I connect to my hard drives are in here too as well. Some business cards. I carry some extra business cards in there. So that's really handy to have. All right, so moving on. Oh, you guys are ever doing some night photography or even sunset photography or even early morning sunrises, it doesn't matter. But if you guys carry around a light, a headlamp, um, this definitely comes in handy. I purchased this probably about um, probably three months ago and I uh, found this on Amazon again. Uh, it's the Petzl Core light. Um, let me see the the Attic Core. A uh, really cool thing about this feature is that you can actually remove the battery and charge the battery, it's rechargeable. So you can plug it in right there. And uh, really, really comes in handy. So I really like this a lot. So I always carry these, uh, one of these with me, no matter where I go. All right, so I have some, some of these little nifty bags. Uh, usually I carry my, all my filters in carry a lot of my filters, uh, some cotton swabs, and just whatever you want to you know, put in there. Uh, this bag, I carry all my cords, extra cords, and CF card cases, just little stuff. Even my camera body hand grip by uh, Peak Design. So those are, that's what I put in that. And here in this other pocket that I have, I keep all my GoPro gear in this box. Now this is my new GoPro 9. Hero Black Edition. And it uh, comes in a very nice solid hard case. Uh, I just put my external batteries in there. Put all that in there when I'm not using the camera. Uh, right now I have my old GoPro that's in here, my GoPro 6. And uh, oh, I don't know how many times I've been out in the field or traveling or it doesn't really matter if you leave the house and you know you're not gonna be home for a while and uh, you don't really have anywhere to charge. Uh, I bought this Anchor 21,000 milliamp power bank. Um, man, when you travel and you wanna have something like this, it charges up laptops, iPads, and your, your phones. I think you can charge it up to eight times with the cell phones per use, so that's really good, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I always carry one of these with me. And if you guys ever found yourself in a situation where you, you don't have enough fill light or you can't bring a ring light with you or, or if you're on the, on the spot, on the fly and you need some kind of light, uh, if you're doing a selfie or even, it doesn't really matter, whatever your, whatever your subject is and you've got a, uh, a dark background and you don't want to use the camera flash, I advise getting one of these. This, this is a uh, LED light. Uh, and it comes, it's a 2800 milliamp LED with 96 LED lights. Um, has a digital display on the back. It actually shows the percentage of the battery, how much you have left uh, on whatever percentage you put it on. And the, the Kelvin temperature shows it on the back. If you turn this all the way up, it won't last too long, maybe 30 minutes, if that, and it will cut right off. It says there's no battery, but when I turn it back on, there's still battery remaining on it. So I don't, I don't know what's, what's up with that. But this is a really, really good feel light when you're out in the field or, and you can't use your, your smartphone's light. You can, but it's just not the same. 
The cool thing about this is I can switch this over and then I can make it, I can turn this to a warm light. So it's more of an amber. So that's really nice. Um, you can do that as well and then you can just set it back if you want. So you can see that moving up to white, the, the cool blue LED. And then you can set the percentage on that. So I can turn it down. So that has come in handy so many times. So I really uh, advise you guys to have one of these in your back pocket when you're traveling or just out on the go. So I carry all that with me in here. Let's see what else. Um, not too much, I don't carry too much in this stuff. I don't like these little pockets. They're just, I don't know. They're not, to me, they're not too practical. Um, but I carry just odd in stuff. Like I have a wrench for my tripod or my monopod right here. I carry that in there. I don't know why I put it in there. It should be in that bag, but I just don't. Um, I have an extra hand grip by Peak Design. Um, I always have one of those around. I usually put my camera battery in here for my, for my uh, DSLR. I usually stick that in there. This one's empty. Um, I usually put maps, um, maybe some money in there, maybe some stuff that uh, I want to keep up with. And the back pocket, or the front pocket, I should say, um, I carry my Canon battery charger in here. When, when I travel a lot, um, I don't remember everything that I've done or did or seen or what the name of that was or this or that. Um, and I write it down. I, I put it in this book. I just jot it down and I just talk about it. So whenever I'm making a video, I can actually bring it up. Um, these are all my notes from a previous video that I uh, shot in the field in uh, Bangkok. And uh, it tells me all the, uh, I guess you could say the intro and the, what parts that I want to keep and stuff like that. I just drop those down. Um, I, just, I just put notes in there. So I always carry a little book around just to jot things to keep up with. All right. One feature I loved about this bag when it first came out was that you can actually put a tripod in here. Um, and let me show you how that's done. So this, it actually has a pocket built in and I, I use that pocket to keep my strap in. I have a camera strap right here. I just shove that in there. But when I'm not using this, you can undo the flap and take your, the feet of the tripod and it goes in the bottom like that. You guys can see that. It goes in there. Um, and this bag comes with, it comes with a um, bungee cord. So you can actually bungee it to the actual back of the backpack, which is really, really cool. Um, I do like that a lot. The only problem with this is, is that it's longer than the bag because the tripod is just too big. But this usually uh, really got in the way. I would be hitting people on the, in the head with this thing, walking through the aisle of an airplane. You turn from it and smack them right in the face. And so I had to stop doing that. So normally I would just, I would just carry my tripod in my hand when I'm entering on the plane and then I'll put it in the overhead compartment. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's that. Now, since I brought the tripod out, um, I have my Gitzo tripod that I've had for quite some time now. I think it's been a little over 10 years since I bought this. I paid about $600 by the time it came out. Um, this thing is a beast. I've never had one, not one problem with this. Um, it's all aluminum. Um, very sturdy. And uh, I, I love it. I, I never got another one because I never needed another one. Um, the only problem I would say with this is it's just, it's just too heavy to carry on the plane. Um, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking to buy another tripod that's a little bit more travel compact. So, all right. And for my camera head, uh, tripod head in here, I have an Acrotec ball mounting head, which I love. And I recently purchased a plate for it, another plate to use it uh, for my other cameras and I can put a GoPro on or whatever, which I really don't need to, but really, really good to have. <clears throat> uh, I've been seeing a lot of this on YouTube and whatnot, but for me, it's probably been, I don't know. Uh, I, I was excited when I got this and uh, I use it a lot. So let me get it for you. This is the, um, the monopod by iFootage. It's the uh, Cobra 2 C180. Um, this is the first time I ever had a monopod. 
and it's carbon fiber and it extends pretty pretty good now when it's on the uh, feet I'll show you in a minute it's over my head so let me show you that too so the cool thing I love about this monopod is the fact that you can actually dismount the actual uh, legs on this fold them out and the cool thing about this is you can use it as a tabletop tripod. So I love that about this. So, all right, so let's put this back on here. And this goes right here, okay? So, like I said, the cool thing I love about this tripod is the fact that it's um, lightweight. And uh, you can see that it's over my head. So it's way over here. So I don't need it for anything bigger than this. But I recently carried this with me on a outdoor excursion in Flippin, Arkansas. I used this when I went to, uh, I went hiking, fishing, and did some photography, and this really came in handy. Uh, I was sitting over a, a cliff, basically, and I hung this out. I extended this all the way out and put the, my GoPro on the end of this, and I extended it all the way out over the, over the edge of the cliff and made some really good uh, shots with this. So you can use it as a boom, whatnot. And also, too, I love this part. Now, I know you guys probably already know this, but um, uh, I've seen someone do this, and uh, really, really cool. You can fold the, the feet down, lock them in. And if you've got a, a, your big camera on the end of this or whatever, and you're just tired of holding it, but it's, it's extended way over the crowd or whatever you're doing, you can actually put this in your pants, like right here on, the, on your belt, and let, let it sit there and hold it like this. And... Uh, I don't know, it's just a, a cool little tip to have when you're out in the field or you're getting tired of holding something for so long and you want to keep it stable. This is a good, good trick to do. So that's my uh, monopod by iFootage. Um, so yeah, very, very good investment. All right, so other than that, that's what's in my bag. I hope you enjoyed this. Well, I thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this helps. Um, like I said, I've been shooting weddings and portrait photography a little over 10 years now. And uh, I've just moved over to travel outdoor photography and I'm, I'm in love with that. This is what I want to do. Uh, I want to travel and see the world and uh, show you guys. So anyway, I want to show you what's in my bag. And if you guys have any questions, please comment them below and I will answer you all your questions. Um, and if you guys have any tips or anything that you, any recommendations for uh, camera bags or any type of travel gear, link them below. Let me know. I, I'm really curious on what you guys think. So thanks for following me. If you haven't followed me already, uh, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. That helps me out. And uh, I'm on Instagram, Traveling Tiv, and also Facebook. So, and you can check out my website. It's TravelingTiv.com. So, all right. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.